Hi, this is Irv Shapiro with the Dr. Vax channel, and this is another in the 3D printing demystified series, specifically designed to help beginners and intermediate users of 3D printers get started. Today, I'm going to make a video based on a question that's been asked by a variety of my viewers. Basically, you buy a new 3D printer, you print the models that are on the SD card, and then you're trying to print other models and you're having trouble figuring out how to get those models into your printer to print. Well, we're going to take you step by step through the process. Stay tuned and let's learn something together. We're going for this video to use a slicer. Slicer is the piece of software that converts between a three-dimensional model and the format necessary to print called Cura. And the reason we're going to use Cura is it's recommended by the majority of the manufacturers of home-based hobbyist low-end 3D printers, many of these coming out of China. And often there's a version of Cura shipped with your printer on the SD card, but it's generally very old and it only works for Windows. So I'm on a Mac, so that wouldn't help me at all. So the process we're going to go through together will show you how to download Cura off the web, how to configure it for your printer, how to load a model off of Thingiverse, how to save it to an SD card, and how to print it on a specifically a Creality style printer, but it could be any printer. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is Google for Cura, C-U-R-A, and an entry you'll find says Ultramaker Cura. Click on that link and you will go to the Ultramaker Cura software website. Now, if you end up on the home page, then you just need to go to products under software, click on Ultramaker Cura then click on download for free. It's going to tell you which version of Cura. It will attempt to select the right one. Um, if not, you can go back and select the version for your operating system. You're going to have to fill in the reason you're using it. And this is obviously the trade-off you use have for using this free software. And now I'm going to download the version of Cura. The way that will download will depend on your computer. I'm on a Mac. In my case, Chrome shows it down in the corner. Then I'm going to select the option to open that. If you're on a PC, you may choose to look at it in the Explorer first and then open it. I'm going to open it. Let's reduce my browser window down since we don't need it any longer and we'll see it's opening my software. Now in the case of a PC there will be an installation file here you click on to install Cura. On a Mac all you do is you drag the application to the application folder. Now we're going to take and run Cura and it's listed under Ultimaker Cura and once you're in the application, it doesn't matter what operating system you're on. It all works the same way. Now, because I've used Cura before, um, it's already configured with some of my parameters. But if you had not, what you're going to want to do is go to Ultimaker Cura to Preferences. Then click on Printers. This will be empty. Click on Add to add a printer, and select Other, and then see if your printer is listed here. Now, if your printer is not listed here, you want to find one that's close. It doesn't have to be exact, because we're going to use this just to get started. So as an example, I have a Creality Ender 5. There isn't an Ender 5. I'm going to select in 
an Ender 3 instead and give it a name so I know that I've selected it for this demonstration. Another example, I happen to have a printer called a Monoprice MP10. I know that's a clone of a Creality CR10, so I would have started with a CR10. Click Next on Add Printer. Now, once you've added the printer, select it, click on Activate, and then click on Machine Settings. If you've selected a printer that is not your specific printer, you may have to adjust the parameters. As an example, I know that the Ender 5 has a larger print bed, so I can make the Z or the height larger. For your first model, this won't really matter because you're not going to print things that are the maximum size. Everything else, just leave the same. So I selected my printer, I activated it, and I'm going to click Close. You'll now see your printer up here. For filament, click on that Next. In general, you should select Generic PLA as your first filament, unless you have one of these specific brands. Generic PLA will be fine. You don't need to touch anything else over here for your first print. Now, we need a model. We're going to open up a browser, and now we're going to go to Thingiverse. I misspelled it, but Google helped me out. And I'm already logged in, but you don't have to be logged in to do this. And I'm going to look for the Cali Cat. Right over here. The Cali Cat is a very easy to print model um, that is perfect for your first print. And I'm going to select one of those because it's relatively small. And then when you're in the display of a model, there's an option to download all files. I recommend you not use that. That's going to download the files in a zip file, which you will have to unzip. That's just an extra step. I'm going to go to Thing Files and click on it. Then I'm going to click on the name of the file I want to download. In the case of Chrome, it's going to download it directly to my computer, to the default download area. You need to know where you downloaded it to. So if you show it in the Explorer or the Finder, you can see where you downloaded it to. So mine's called CaliCat Keychain, and it's in the download area. Now I can close my browser. I can go back to Cura. I can click on the file folder here, and I have to navigate to my download area. I'm going to click on CaliCat, and it's going to place it on my print bed. Now when I'm within Cura, I can use the scroll wheel on my mouse to scroll up and down. I can use the right mouse button to move it around. But we're not going to need to change anything. We're just going to click Slice. It's telling me this will print in 37 minutes. It'll use just a little bit of filament. If I click Preview and then use this scroll area over here, I can see the individual layers. Now I'm going to take and put my micro SD card into my computer. Now, very often, your micro SD card, which will be in your printer, and it's tiny, will come with a little device that will make it the size of a regular SD card. So you can use a regular SD card reader on your computer. When you insert the micro SD card into the reader, if you insert it the wrong way, it won't go in all the way. If you insert it the right way in the reader, it will be flush. So I'm going to take and put that into my computer. And now I'm going to say 
save to file and I have to navigate to my micro SD card. Here it's called Ender 5 because that's the printer I took it from. But if you're not sure, take it out, see what goes away, and put it in again. And then you will see it appear. So I'm going to save this G code to my micro SD card. Okay, let's walk over to our printer and we'll see how to print this file. Okay, before we get to this step, you should follow the instructions that came with your printer for loading filament into your printer. Then you should place the micro SD card into the slot on your printer. These cards are very small. You need to make sure you pr place it into the actual reader and not into the frame where it falls below the reader. Very often, these cards go in upside down for some reason or another. So don't be surprised if the correct orientation is upside down. After placing the SD card into your printer, you press your control button. I'm going to go to print from SD card. I'm going to find the G code file I loaded onto this printer and I'm going to click it. It will then heat up the bed, heat up your nozzle, and begin your print. Okay, our print has started. In the case of an Ender 5, the print platform moves up and down instead of side by side. Your printer will look different. In this particular case, you'll notice the blue device on the left-hand side. That's a proximity sensor for an auto bed leveling product, which was an aftermarket product that I added to my Ender 5. Okay, I hope this was helpful to you. We learned how to download Cura, how to initially configure it for a new printer, how to download a file from Thingiverse, how to load it into Cura, how to slice it, and how to start it printing, in this case, on a Creality style printer. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great day, and let's continue to learn things together.